I just want to show you all, uh, you don't see this every day. Oh, there goes the KSD notch. It's, it's over there. But I guess everybody is getting ready for this show, World of Wheels. And how often do you just run across a 67 Eleanor GT500? Like, I mean, I can be honest with you. I can't say that I've ever seen one this close. And this one is actually amazing. We slay all suckers who purple and trade and lay down law from state to state. We slay we all God. suckers who purple and trade and lay down law from state to state. We slay all right, everybody. So I am here uh, at JJ's Detailing. That is my man, Jeffrey, right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's the man. And um, as you can see, he's going to make this car look a little brand new again. You know, like, granted, we just got it. And I know the camera can sometimes lie, but, yeah, he's going to uh, make it look brand new again. So these were added. That's brand new. Those uh, pitch wheel covers are brand new. Um, so, I mean, outside of that, man, it's just what you normally would do. Um, the interior is terrible because of all the dust from it being painted. But, but yeah, like it's, it's, all, it's all you. So my question to you, what do you think we should do? Um, should, I, should I put it on a trailer? What do you think we should, we should do when I leave here? I definitely recommend bringing it to the trailer. That way the undercarriage can stay as clean as possible. Okay. We're definitely going to detail under that, detail the engine bay. Okay. Driving it, just a little bit of salt that we do have on the road. Yeah. It's going to end up kicking up. Uh, probably end up getting on the engine bay just a little bit. You're going to have a lot more cleanup if you don't put the trailer to the show. Okay. So that would be my biggest recommendation. So trailer to the So you know you're at his shop when you see that sign right there. And so here it is. So you all know the car. This is KSD Notch. You know, it just got fresh out of the paint shop with a lot. And like he, as, as I had no doubts that he would have the car um, looking immaculate. And some of it is hard to tell on camera, um, but here it is. I mean, freshly buffed out. I mean, Black is very hard to keep clean, but man, he has this whole thing. So I'm gonna go around the car, then I have him do a quick overview, but I mean, he does amazing, amazing work. I mean, if you all knew what this thing looked like um, when I left, it was still decent, but um, him putting his finishing touches on it has it ready for me to be a part of this actual car show. So. I mean, he got some of the, uh, what do we call it, those burn marks? <laughs> that was wet sand marks. He got some of those out. Um, I mean, he got a few things um, out. I mean, he probably did so good of a job that I could see some of the imperfections, <laughs> which is something I did right. Um, but man, this right here, look at that paint and tell me where you see a swirl mark. It doesn't exist. That's how, that's, how, that's how he does. That's what happens when you bring it here. So if you want to give us a quick overview of the work that you did, that would be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So basically when it's out of the paint shop, uh, they don't typically finish the paint out to where it's like the mirror as you're seeing here. Um, so what we do is we go in and get those finer imperfections out and bring out that showroom showroom finish. Uh, so we go ahead and do a compound, which is gonna level out the paint, make sure it's swirl free. And then we do a final polish, which is gonna give it that mirror look, as you see in the scan group mm -hmm. here. It's gonna act as the sun, so it's gonna show basically whatever you're gonna see outside. Uh, so that's what's giving it that, that mirror finish. And then once the paint is fully cured, we're gonna lock that in and put a paint sealant down on or a ceramic coating. Um, I know you had mentioned about doing some EPF work. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Once that paint is fully cured, we'll, we'll bring it back in here and uh, put the final protection on. So what is your suggestion now? So we're going to take this car. Um, we got to take it up out of here. And, and obviously, black is very, very hard to keep clean. 
what is going to be your suggestion on how to keep this clean at the show? Uh, best thing it's going to do is plenty of clean microfibers, um, quality microfibers that is. I use a, for example, uh, a microfiber that's 400 GSMs. These are actually edgeless as well. So they're not going to mar the paint. They don't have any tags or any of that. Um, never use those California car dusters. Right. It's going to give those uh, fine marring into the paint. So let me make that clear again, guys. For you all that did not hear what he just said, never ever use a California car duster. Go ahead. You always want to use uh, some kind of um, quick detailer or spray wax or mm -hmm. something like that because that's going to give the lubricant that's going to glide over the surface of the paint for any minor dust that the car is going to see just sitting at the show. Sweet. Let's go over this uh, under the hood. So now we're under the hood and I, you know, one thing about the camera is that you guys would never be able to really see, but man, this thing was filthy because of it being painted. But um, here at JJ's Detailing, he literally have it, has it looking great again. And so um, I'm very, very pleased with this. Obviously it's always hard. Like once he gets it clean and black just shows everything, but he has the, um, he has it looking, you know, World of Wheels ready. Look, this is about as best as I'm gonna get. You know, I'm not chroming anything and all that good stuff, so. But he has it ready to actually, you know, if you're looking at this at the actual car show, he has it ready for World of Wheels. So can you tell me, so when I when people bring their, their motors to you and they want you to go inside of the engine bay, what's that process look like? So the safest way to go about uh, doing an engine, especially on swaps and motors that have a lot of electrical and stuff like that, is we go through with a steam cleaner. We actually don't hit it with a pressure washer just because that can harm things Absolutely. like electrical and stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. So we were able to steam clean pretty much everything you see here. Um, there's a lot of bodywork dust and wet sanding, yeah. wet sanding marks from when they sprayed the bay. Uh, so it's just body shop dirt and grime and stuff like that. So steam cleaned everything and then we actually went over all the, the firewall and um, pretty much everything that's painted, the underside of the hood, uh, just with a quick detailer as it is fresh paint again, so it does need to off gas um, and cure before we do put any kind of wax, sealers, coating, any of that stuff on. Yeah, because this right here is looking amazing because it all had to get repainted again. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing, JJ. Like all of this stuff is just pretty, it just looks good, you know, for everything, what it is, it just looks great. And so, bottom line, you all, I mean, if you want your stuff done right, take it so, to You heard it here first. Let me turn around and show you the actual car. But we're here, and this is it's pretty detailed pretty well. And so, if you want it done right, bring it to the professionals. Um, he has a real shop. It's not, not, not knocking anybody that doesn't in their garage. You know, humble beginnings. But he has a real shop and he actually knows what he's doing. And obviously there are cars that are worth more than mine. You can kind of see one car halfway in there. I'm not going to show that though. Because <laughs> I don't know the owner and I don't want them mad at me later. But bottom line, you heard it here first. This is how you detail a Fox body. You know, he's steam cleaning uh, the engine. You know, he's showing you how to polish. You know, getting those marks and everything up out of there and getting the show ready. And so if you really want to know how to do it, I'm going to say take it to the professionals. And if you're in this area, make sure you go out to JJ's Detail here in Orland Park, Illinois. You're also on Instagram. How can they find you on Instagram? Uh, it's at JJS Detailing LLC. And if you're following my page, you saw it, I reposted him and everything. But like I said, he's camera shy. He won't jump in front of the camera, but he will jump in front of your car um, to get it polished and get it uh, looking the way that it needs to look. And so, like I said, you all, this thing is looking amazing. This is the proper way on detailing a Fox body. And so, hey, um, take it to the professionals. Pay, pay the good money. I pay too much money in paint and body at this point to not pay the right person to do it. I'm not detailing nothing. I don't even want to wash it. I just want to bring it to him every time just to do that. But we are getting World of Wheels ready, and he has some World of Wheels cars in here. That's it. That's all I can give you, all right? So make sure you all like. Make sure you all subscribe. Like the channel. Subscribe. Um, if you like this video, leave your comments down below. But yeah, the Fox is fully detailed. I'll be picking it up to uh, take it to the show in a couple days. So thank you all so much. The attention to detail. 
I mean, it is beautiful. Beautiful. So I had to throw this in the video. Like, how do you come across a GT? <sighs> does it say, does it have the nitrous button in there? Yeah, it does. They, I mean, they, they paid attention to every detail. I mean, this thing is... So shout out to the owner of this car. I know we're gonna be in the same show. I mean, you win though. <laughs> I, don't go, I don't compare it to, to, to this right here. Um, but wow, amazing, amazing. Like everything about this car is amazing. So this is what happens when you come to JJ's detailing. He only details the finest of cars in the area. I mean, the finest. This is bonus footage. 420, what? Do you, somebody, can you, do you see? Wow, uh, amazing. This is what Blue Oval Media is all about, representing for all of those Fords. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, guys. Jeez. So I just wanna thank JJ for even allowing me to do this. And to the owner, I hope that um, you appreciate seeing your car on TV, because <laughs> this is amazing. It's the thing, it's gonna be a World of Wheels anyway. I definitely would've got this car anyway, so I may have to get a full interview with this guy, because this thing is amazing. So shout out to the owner of this beautiful Shelby GT 500. Hi, Eleanor.